Hey, hey guys, welcome back. I'm Hypnotic and this is Vintage Story and I am here to officially welcome you to 1.19 on my channel. I know we've done a couple of little videos, but this is when we're leaving. Look, I went to the RA, I went to the Resonance Archive with the Bohemian server and it sucked. Um, so we are not going there. Uh, there were big question mark blocks everywhere and we didn't find a room. We went in there with six people, scoured the place and couldn't find anything. So we're skipping right to the good part and we're going to go to the wilds. I have my bags packed. I'm cooking some food. And then we're going to go. But I have a couple of mods that I want to tell you about that I've added to my 1.19 series. On top of the ones that I have, I've added a few new ones. The first one is Primitive Survival. Um, it has so much stuff, including worms and crabs and crocodiles and fishing and trapping, along with monkey bridges and um, new stairs. There's a lot to look at in that mod, so we'll be looking at that one. The next one is a Floral Zone um, one. I added the Caribbean the Caribbean region on the floral zones. And I'll link, I'll put that one up here. The links to these will be down in my description box and I'll add them to my list, but it adds like palm trees and exotic plants. No animals, just plants. Horticulture, here I come. I have put back on the Zoom mod. So uh, I think that, that I had that at one point, I've put it back on. And as of this moment, I am actually thinking about putting on alchemy, but I do want to double check uh, cups, a couple things. So I did reach out to the modder on the alchemy mod. So uh, if I don't have it right now, I might have it soon. So I made myself some pretty, pretty pink porcelain uh, containers and I'm making myself some food and each porcelain container will hold six servings. So they are quite advantageous to have. Um, so I am making um, a bunch of food. I'm going to try to make a little bit, uh, one more container, one more uh, thing, because I did go kill some pigs. And I think what we're going to do with this pot is we're just going to take this pot because we need a cooking pot. Let me show you everything I'm bringing with me. I have everything but the kitchen sink. This is our bug out bags. We're going to be set for a while. We're going to be able to concentrate on building right away and caving right away. We'll get the garden set up. We'll get a basic house set up, but we're going to be able to go for it right away. So let me show you in my inventory. Um, what I've done is I've, I have two stacks of iron arrows because um, that's going to have to last me. I made a bunch of mortar and I have all these tool heads. Now tool heads stack to four where if you put a stick on it, and only stacks to one. So I've got four um, of these of each pickaxe, saws, knives, hammers, shovels, and hammer heads. I've got my chiseling stuff. This is going to go back in the container. I have a little bit of flax twine just so I could make a bucket and maybe repair some clothes if I need them. I, of course, have my rusty gears. I have three temporal gears to, to redo a TL if we want, plus the metal parts, fat, one to set my spawn, and of course some bandages. And then in this container, I have all kinds of goodies. I have some seeds, I have terra preta, I have lanterns, limestone candles, a little bit of black coal, my metal armor, some nails and strips, some vessels, my anvil, and of course, booze. Because we have to celebrate once we get there. Um, and I'm not going to be taking, like, I'm taking some some trees, uh, some black seeds and some cabbage seeds and pumpkin seeds just to, like, have an initial garden so I can have food and not starve. But I'm not going to be taking tree seeds or anything like that. I'm going to be hunting for those things and it will encourage me to explore. I'm going to miss this place but we will be back. So I have decided that we are gonna go directly west and a little bit south. So I thought um, minus 100K to and 5,000. We are basically at zero, zero here. I mean, pretty close. 
uh rainbow rocks is at 5000 and i really like the climate there but i thought once we got there we might go a little further south so i'm just gonna um, start off at negative 100k and 5000 so i'm gonna get teleporting over there in the morning so we have bright light to see around our new space okay you guys one last look at cat mountain there she is and we are taking off so what we're going to do is we're going to do game mode creative um and the reason i'm doing this is because i want to be able to fly and i am going to say backslash tp and then we're going to go space one uh it's going to be negative 100 negative 100 thousand and we're going to do 200 which is the height that way we don't like potentially land inside a mountain and then we're going to do 5,000 or so. I'm just doing 5,000 because that's about where Rainbow Rocks is. And let's go. Okay, world is loading in. Looks like we have... Um, a huge uh, set of ruins there. Well, isn't that convenient? And there's another ruin right there. So you guys, I did change my map um, and I'm super uh, bummed that it didn't like change it. Uh, somebody's telling me that I need to go to newly discovered areas for that to happen. And I am in a brand new newly discovered area. And as you can see, my map has not changed. It's still the gross, old, colorless map. Um, so I'm a little frustrated about that, but let's get down here and uh, let's uh, get out of creative mode. That's a pretty little park. Oh my gosh, and there's our first palm tree. Oh, there's palm trees right there. Look at the palm trees. Okay, I am home. Okay, let's just get down here. Let's change it back to survival. And then we're going to start looking around. So I guess the very first thing I'm going to do is just um, put some stuff down. We will um, maybe make one of these homes. Look, there's a corn right there. Holy crap. Scrap mace. Ruined bucket. Look at that. A, 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 wow. These are the improved ruins. I do have the better ruins mod on though, you guys. So it's gonna be hard for me to tell what ruin is what. And because the new ruins are so good. Oh, look at this. Ruins of the ages. Well, cute. Hey, there's a ruined globe. Okay, so let's do, um, one of the very first things we're gonna wanna do is just set up so let's just set up in this little house for now. This looks like a fairly complete little house. We can uh, re... Wow, I'm having a lot of lag. Um, let's just set up in this little house. We can rejuve this little house in the meantime that we are like trying to figure out um, where we want to be. This looks like the perfect little place to set up. It's even got a painting and some bookshelves table gears just welcoming welcome welcoming us in look at that it's just welcoming us in so we'll clean this up a little bit but for now let's just put down a couple things do they have a fire in here the ruined table where would we want to set up a fire let's set up our little kitchen right here so i'll set up some food what oh because of the painting Okay, we'll sit down our box. I think the first order of business would be literally to um, probably make um, a couple more boxes uh, because we're gonna need, look at that, blue cray blick, bricks and an acacia seed, oak seeds. It's very welcoming. This place is very welcoming so far. So um, I can walk right through that, I think. No, nope, I cannot. So we're gonna need a box to put some stuff in that's going to be really hard to get out of there. So let's go get a tree. And um, 
make another box. And then let's also look at... Oh, look at those doors. Ooh. Some cool stuff. There's a book. All right. I like this place. Let's look to see what this dude is. Hello, neighbor. I'm moving into the neighborhood. Oh my god, survival goods. What? Okay, well that's pretty damn hot. I like it. Oh, he's selling a wolf pup. Maybe I can finally have my junkyard dog. So let's, uh, let's get... What is that? Marjoram. Oh, that's right, you guys. I added the alchemy mod. So there was two changes that I made. I added the alchemy mod. I don't know if that's due to the alchemy mod or primitive survival. Um, but look at this little... We have a park! Oh my gosh! Look at that dude! Uh, is this a primitive ruin? Uh, from the... Oh, I like these. Oh, and there's hyenas. Okay, I'm super happy with this. Uh, dude, you do not want to mess with me. Oop. I like this little park. Okay, the hyenas are everywhere. <laughs> What's that? Oh, that's right. And we've also got the, um, of course, we've got the, the Caribbean, um, foliage mod. So that's a growing Mexican cotton. Oh, I'm so looking forward to, like, exploring all these new plants. Oh my gosh, a jumbling prickly pear. Okay. What? Oh, it hurts. It hurts you. Okay. Well, let's go over and get... Look at the palm trees. Oh my gosh. These mods are going to be super fun uh, to play around with. So there's some of the new uh, sedge. But look at these palm trees. Ooh, look at that plant. I'm feeling right at home. The candelabra cactus. Look at those palm trees. Okay, I'm feeling right at home here. There's some more ruins. First things first, though, let's chop down a tree. Um, except for I just want to check out these flowers and these plants. And Wow, look at that. Those are heliconia. I saw these in real life. Amazing. Okay, and this is a Caribbean pine log. Oh, I really, really like this mod so far, you guys. I really like it. So let's chop down one of these Caribbean pine trees, grab some wood so we can go make a couple of boxes and em empty out our inventory. Okay, so that just gives us... Um, that just gives us firewood. I guess we need that too. There's a graveyard. Well, let's go over to, to a tree that we know will give us logs so we can make some boards. What we'll do is we'll renovate that little house, get it working to our advantage. Oh my gosh, there's coconuts. Um, and then, oh, there's clay right there too. And be able to set everything down. And then um, we will, there's a K-pop, that'll work. And then we'll just explore. Look at that. I'm going right past the K-pop that I need to this palm tree. Oh, it's blooming. Oh, it looks like a date palm. Excellent. Okay, super excited about the Caribbean stuff. But let's get this tree. This should be good in order to make us some... Oh, and look, we have bioluminescence in the water. Oh, I love the jungle. Okay, uh, let's go over and I have one stick so I can make a saw. And we're going to need some food too. We put down our food. <coughs> Sorry guys, I'm, a, I'm still sick. Uh, my voice is back, but I am still sick. I have been very sick. Um, Monday morning after the stream, I woke up and was not feeling good. 
at all. Oops, I'm supposed to be going over here. We're going to have to chop some of this stuff down in order to get through. My bowl is right there, so that would be the first thing to do. Eat. And then we're going to make a saw. And then we're going to make some boards. Just make them all. Might as well. Um, and then we're going to make boxes. Uh, let's go ahead and just make four, I would say. And then I'll make a couple of trunks. Although I don't like having all trunks because then you... Um, You can't move them with carry capacity. So I'll make one trunk and then the other two we're just going to keep boxes. All of that is going to fall probably. But let's go ahead and just put a box right here. We'll move all this around later because I'll make it all pretty. But for now we need to dump some stuff. And I will set my spawn. I did change out the fat for a stack of iron ingots. Um, um, Odd Ape reminded me that I should probably bring some iron ingots. Thank you, Odd Ape. Appreciate it, my friend. Then we'll make one trunk. And I will go ahead and set my spawn. Um... I guess right here. I mean, there's really no reason to set it anywhere else. It's official! We're here! Yes! First thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna clean up around here a little bit. We're gonna see if we can make some whole walls and see if we can get some of this junk out of here. Um, and see what we can do about just making this at least um, okay for nighttime. I'm going to go ahead and uh, steal some of these to complete some walls. Looks like there's a tiny little roof up here. Yeah, there's a little... Um... Oh, look at that. There's another vessel. And another... Let's see. Did I see a container? Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, a Mediterranean cypress. Okay, we'll just leave that there for now. I'm going to just try to get this cleaned up. This place is a mess. How could they leave it like this? So what we'll do is we'll make three doors. One, two, three. Kapok doors. Fancy. Put one there. And we'll put one... You'd have to do the right one first, right? No. Wrong. Wrong! There we go. Okay! So... I, I don't think I'm going to be going using upstairs. There's a broken shelves. But what, we're going to need this um, little area, so we're going to move the painting. Uh, we'll put it right over the window there. We'll grab all this stuff out and get rid of that basket. And then we're going to come up here and check out, do I have enough stuff, enough inventory? We're going to check out that. That's tools. Hey, what was that? That was a bronze knife. That's super nice. Do I have enough for inventory? Uh, blasting powder, Mediterranean cypress. I can't get up here, so I'm going to have to go get the other vessel at some other point. We are going to need windows, so at, for the moment... Let's uh, just make some ladders. Oh, I don't even... Yeah, no, I don't have sticks, so I can't make ladders. So let's just plug the windows up. Because we don't want the crawlies to get in here. So let's go ahead and put a regular lantern there, and a regular lantern there, and then we will be able to see in here. Very nice. It would be nice to like have a place to... Um, put a bed. I did not bring a bed because as you guys know, beds are very easy to come by. And then also I'm going to put 
one of the vessels. I brought four vessels. We'll put one of the vessels right there for food. We'll put two vessels right there for food. And then we will make a couple of shelves to put up above us. And then we have a place. Now, does this speed up this? Yes, it does speed it up. Grain, vegetable. Wow, we need a cellar really bad, really fast. Um, because our stuff is going to rot. It's so warm here. Uh, yeah, it's 90 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. So that's pretty warm. So I'm going to try to live off the land for as long as possible before I decide where I'm going to live. So my seeds and things like that are going to wait. The garden is going to wait just because I'm going to try to live off, um, you know, hopefully berry bushes and uh, things like that. We do. We are going to need a cellar, though. That's going to be pretty serious. Um, I We're going to really need it because our food's going to rot really fast here. So I'm going to put a little vessel down here to make a cellar, and we'll put our food in there for now. That should work pretty good. Underneath it will do a little bit better once I cover it back up. So let's grab this stuff. We've got gears, maple seeds, blasting powder, galena, and an oak seed. And we've got this vessel as well, so let's just go ahead and take it with us. Um, we might want to dig down underneath this one, this ruin. I'm just next door. A lot, a lot of um, rocks and stones. But I don't see much else, unless there's something up above. What's that right there? There is a ruined Jonas lamp. Oh, look, there's a tool rack. Let's be sure to grab that. Is there a way to get up there? I don't have any sticks, so if we're going to get up there, it's going to be with dirt. What's that? A broken down bed? And a torch holder. Very nice. I didn't bring a torch holders. Torch holders is one of those things that I decided not to bring. Oh, whoa. Very nice. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is amazing. Look at all this stuff. Okay, well, I'm going to leave that there for now just because I don't have inventory space, but we're going to take this torch holder. Since this is right next door, we're going to have to clean it up. But we're not going to stay here. We, What I do, and I, I know that you guys probably know this about me already, is I really like to um, get a feel for the land. Um, and decide what I'm going to build based on my surroundings. Um, so... I think that I need to look around to decide exactly, you know, what I'm going to be doing for the build. So, I want, I have some ideas. Um, we might be looking at a house now. I'm not sure why we're not, we don't have a house. Oh, there it is. We're in a cellar. Oh, well that means my vessels are getting much better. Very nice. I like it. That is a much better option. I could probably pull that out of there now, but I'm happy with that. We're going to put these down. Let's go ahead and put this pretty vessel up here. And then let's put the torch holder. We're going to need a torch and we'll just put a torch holder right there. Okay. I'm going to do a little bit more uh, inventory and organizing, and then we are going to go in the morning. We're going to go out and about. So guys, this is how you get the um, map. This is the map thing. Uh, if you press, you go to... Um, now this says for everyone on the server, or there's for one player. So I'm going to show you the player one, which doesn't work. Player, and then you put hypnotic, your name, or whatever. Player hypnotic. And then we're going to say grant. Oops, grant. Color accurate 
world map. And then it says help. This is the one, this is what I've been told. So that one doesn't work. World config create. Did I not say that? We're, oh, Jesus. I told you I can't type. Okay, let's try it again. World config create. Looks like that to me. Color accurate world map and then say true. True value set. Now what I'm told is that anything we're going to discover outside this area right here should be true to the other um, the other map. So we'll see. Okay, it's getting light as I am just kind of organizing some of my stuff. It's getting light. So we're going to go ex start exploring. I put out my candles and did some stuff like that. So let's go. I have food. I have my box. I think I'm going to go down here and I'm just going to go around the shore. I'm going to look at um, the ruins and I am also going to look at what this thing is right down here. Potentially what that is. So let's just look around. Looks like there's something else over here. Let's just, uh, I should mark that uh, traitor. Where is he? Is this the traitor? They look so weird now. The traitors are not obvious on the map anymore. Look at that. He's that tiny little blip right there. Um, I'm going to make traitors. Uh, I'm just going to make them, the, I guess, my same blue that I have been. Okay, let's go. The sun is coming up. We want to look around for a place to live and just explore for a while. We're going to live in that... These bushes you can't go through. We're going to live in that little... Um, what is this? I can harvest this? <gasps> Dwarf palmetto fruit. Look at that! Oh, we have so much to learn from, from our... How do you tell that that's got... I don't know. We have so much to learn, you guys, from our new new ma new uh, mods. Well, we're not going to do any collecting of veg right now. We're just going to be looking... Unless we find something, like, uh, super sparkly that I can't, like, control, you know, myself. Okay, so here's a cave. We're going to mark all the caves. I have macro set up, if you guys remember, and that is not a cave. Damn it. What is this tree? That is a giant daisy tree. Wow. I've never heard of a daisy tree. Let's see if we get anything out of this little guy. Oh, we can move it. Okay. Well, that's nice. I told you that we weren't going to collect veg, though, right now. Let's look in uh, this ruin. That's what this ruin is on the map. I didn't realize that it was this one right here. Tool vessel. This one, I think, has a uh, translocator at the top, maybe. Yes, it does. We're going to grab this. And it has a translocator here, right here. And it looks like it maybe has a box. Yep. Cool. We're going to grab all that, and maybe this will be the first uh, uh, translocator that we repair. Um, I am going to um, probably, if we repair it, I'll re um, rehabilitate this, this ruin so it's really nice and easy to get up and down. But I do think we should chop down one of these trees and see if this gives us firewood or what what it gives us. So let's try this out. Yeah, it gives us firewood. Well, you know, that's going to be a little bit of a bummer if all these... Whoa. 
If all these trees, these beautiful trees that we have, are only good for firewood, that is going to bum me out a tiny bit. Like we're in chert, and it looks like we have a place to set up a boiler room if we want. Nice. So, as you can see, I am not getting the new map. I, I hate it, guys. I'm sorry. Make us have the option or make the option work. Like, I'm I'm, I'm actually mad about it. I, I don't get mad at this game very often, but I'm kind of mad now. Okay, so this is something that is in Primitive Survival. These, um... Pick up. I can pick it up. Oh, I have to have an empty hand. And I can pick the whole thing up, or can I just loot it? What? I got resin out of it? Oh, and sunflower seeds? And peanut seeds? What? Oh. Whoa. Sava seeds, spell seeds. Well, that's kind of fun, so I should probably mark that. Um, I usually use like a yellow for uh, this is my resin. I know it's rocks, but it looks like a blobby thing to me, not um, not like a rock thing. More of that pretty plant. Lots of dogs. So I'm thinking we're gonna have to we're gonna have to plant some trees here pretty quick. What's this? Cardboard palm. Man, they even have the um, scientific names on there. Nice job, guys. Nice job. There's some acacia. Um, but I do think that we're gonna kind of need um, probably some a, a tree farm because the there's some brown coal. We definitely are going to struggle if all these trees only give us firewood. Now, it didn't really say that when I downloaded the mod. <coughs> I hope these bloom big daisies. Okay, here's another complex of ruins. We haven't even checked out our ruin, basically, at home, but... All the ruins, anyway. Ooh, this is neat. Ooh, is that a well? <gasps> God. Yeah, that's a well. It wasn't as deep as I thought it might be. There's more clay. That in there. What's this? Have we have a bed? We have a nice bed. Might take the bed. And another ruin. And another vessel. And a desk and a bowl. Oh, another bowl. I only brought one bowl. What's that? What was that in there? Oh, a, a book. Okay. Yeah, I only brought one other bowl, so that is going to be nice for me. There's another book. Wow. And there's some firewood. Okay, we can take the firewood. I don't think we want these barber surgeon hand wraps. I'm going to just go dump some stuff. I'm going to dump that. We need to get some sticks for sure while we're out. Stop fooling around with all this loot. I can put down my box, too. I'm just bitching, because I can. We're going to take this. And we're going to take both of these. Okay, we were headed over to see what this trader is. 
Uh, you know what? I really like the deserty areas, but I'm not really wanting to live in it. Hey, I got more berries. Oh, look at that ruin. I can eat them. Ooh, that looks beautiful. Let's go check that out. Oh my gosh. I'm immediately in love with this thing. Look at that. That's gorgeous. Okay, let's go see what uh, the trader has. Who he is. Knock, knock. I'm your new neighbor. He has building materials. I really like building materials because you can get bookshelves and all kinds of uh, uh, wallpaper and really cool blocks from him. Very nice. Thanks, mister. And we can sell him those crates. Which hopefully we won't be needing them this time around. I do like using them because I think they're neat. Wow, I really like this ruin, you guys. And I really want to see... Can I, can I pick this herb? Lavender. Isn't that pretty? The bucket. There's some copper and a gravestone. Wow, they have... This is like a little homestead. I love the way it's lifted up. Oh, there's a croton. Oh my god, look at the wagon wheel. Oh, jeez. This is cute. You think there'll be bad guys in there? Look how cute this ruin is, you guys. Nice, nice job on this ruin. I love it. Look, there's a little patio up here with berry bushes. Now, these are the first berry bushes I've seen. What's this? A broken pipe. So, so cute. And that's fire clay. Let's go in. Knock, knock. Oh, this is so adorable. I have a painting. Chalk rock. Look at that cleaver. More books. Oh my gosh, look at the inner corners. Copper. A rosary. Oh, these sweet people. They lived here. What's that? Oh, pretty. What's that? Crude shield. Shelf. I really like this little place. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look at all this stuff. Did you guys know you can stack these, guys? Dudes, you can stack these. What's this little thing? Pile of bones. There's another book. Uh, a ruined war fork. Some robes. Being aid. Don't show Dragolithic that being aid. Well, this is an absolutely adorable ruin. And we have to take the painting too. I th I mean, if if I end up staying here. Uh, we might move over here because look how cute this is. This is freaking adorable. Okay, I think we're just going to continue on around this um, lake that we have. So I think those are the little berries right there on this palmetto. And that, yeah, 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 yeah. There's some copper there too. Oh, there was copper by... So let's mark that. And there was copper at this um, ruin, too. Let, whoa. Uh, where was it? Right here. Let's mark that as well. But I want to um, look at this Mexican cotton plant. What does it give us? A Mexican cotton seed. Okay. Well... I don't know what you can do with Mexican cotton, but we'll check it out. It might just be ornamental. Wondering if I should start gathering amaranth seeds, because we are going to need some sort of green. Might as well. Looks like we have a couple of caves here. We'll do some caving very soon because we're gonna need to be I should be prospecting actually I have my pick I do let's just do a prospect real real quick here let's see am I on
sphalerite, emerald, cassiterite, cinnabar. Iron will be uh, what I'm going to be looking... I'm going to go straight looking for iron. Um, just because there's no reason to mess around with anything else. That was a pretty massive lag spike. I'm definitely getting some pretty serious lag spikes. Spikes. Ooh, what's that over there? Oh, look at the crabs! Oh my gosh, can we kill them and eat them? Wow, that's one tough crab. Oh my gosh, crab meat. Now we are in heaven. There was more. What is this? Firecracker bush. Holy shit, look at how pretty that is. Do I have room? Please let me have room. Yes, I do. That is gorgeous. Or Caribbean pines. Yeah, uh, so that, I guess, is a disadvantage to the Caribbean and those floral, those, uh, I'll, I'll look up the name and put it right here in text, um, of the, <clears throat> that mod, because basically it seems like it's taken over all the other plants and there is no, you don't get logs from them to make boards. That's definite disadvantage. It's just firewood like the fern trees. Um, had I known that, I might have made a better, a better, a different decision. Had I known that, I might have made a different decision. Um, it is really pretty though, so I'll just have to grow a tree farm, I guess, if I want to build with wood. I don't need these bones, so I'm going to get rid of them. Okay, it's getting dark. There's another cave. There's some copper. Let's go down this cave. I Let's go, just go check it out. Copper, so I'm going to mark ore here. Oops, throw out the bowl. Okay, let's go ahead and do and prospect here too. Sphalerite, minuscules of hematite and magnetite. Okay, and halite. Okay, okay, so now let's look at the map, the prospecting layer. So, where's the other one that I did? Okay. okay it looks like straight north of here, there's quite, look at all those trees and stuff. So, that'll be definitely worth checking out. We have so much exploring to do. I really want to find a really nice place. Um, I appreciate all the suggestions for the builds. Um, and I will be, here's reads. Um, I will be thinking about it, but you guys know, probably know that I am heavily inspired by the landscape. So when I travel around and see a place that I'm going to want to live, I will know it. So it's getting pretty dark. Um, I think. That's home right there, so we're really close, but it looks like there's another little ruin right here. Yeah. I'm not going to dig it out because I don't have inventory space right now, but we will eventually. Okay, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. We're going to do some more searching around overnight. I am going to organize my stuff. And then the next episode, we're just going to keep looking around here. We're going to go further and further out and find a place to build. Thank you so much for being here. I'm super excited about 1.19. Take care, guys. See you later.